There are many types of metal you see around you. Let us know the most important metals and their properties. In our day-to-day -day life and for engineering purposes, the most used metal type is steel, an alloy of different metal actually, which is mainly made from iron after alloying with manganese and silicon. Steel is an alloy of iron, silicon, and manganese. There are many types of steel we will learn in this video. But first, what is metal? Metal refers to the elements found in earth crust having specific physical properties such as luster, hardness, malleability, electrical and thermal conductivity, etc. You may have read that earth core is made with iron and nickel, both are heavy elements. While some non-metals are colorless, most of gases, others are having distinctive colors, sulfur having yellow color, boron with silver color and carbon having black color in graphite form. Alloys are usually stronger and harder than the metals they are made from. There are many different types of metals, each with its own unique set of characteristics. Let us learn what is ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Ferrous metals contain iron and are attracted by a magnet. Non-ferrous metals do not contain iron and are not attracted by a magnet. First metal which is actually an alloy of different metals is carbon steel or also called mild steel. So what is it? Carbon steel is an alloy of iron and carbon, the amount of carbon typically ranging from 0.05% to 2.0% carbon steels are divided into four main types colon 1 low carbon steels 2 medium carbon steels 3 high carbon steels and 4 very high carbon steels it is the most common form of steel because it is economical and has good strength and hardness next is cast iron cast iron is a type of iron produced by melting pig iron and casting it using a mold it is a brittle metal that is strong and heavy. It has a low melting point, so it can be cast into shapes. Cast iron is used to make cookware, tools, and other objects. Cast iron contains more than 2% carbon. As we see there are many types of steel. And stainless steel is the most important type of steel after carbon. Stainless steel is a type of steel that contains chromium and nickel. These metals make the steel resistant to corrosion and staining. Stainless steel can come in different grades, each with its own unique properties. The most common grade of stainless steel is 304 stainless, which is used in a wide variety of applications. Next is aluminum. Aluminum is a lightweight metal that is strong, durable and corrosion resistant. It is the most abundant metallic element in the Earth's crust, making up about 8% of the planet's mass. Gold is a yellow metal with a density of 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter, it has a melting point of 1064.18 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 2900 degrees Celsius. Gold is malleable, ductile, and chemically inert. The most common grades of gold are 24 carat, 22 carat, 18 carat, 14 carat, and 10 carat. Gold has many uses including jewelry, coins, electronics, and dentistry. Silver is a soft, white, lustrous metal. It is a little harder than gold and has a slightly lower melting point. After aluminum copper is very important metal. It has many different grades and types, each with unique properties that make it suitable for different applications. Copper is often used in electrical wiring due to its good conductivity, and it is also commonly used in plumbing due to its resistance to corrosion. Silver is costly but have unique properties. When steels containing more than 0.2% carbon are heated and then cooled slowly, the crystals that form are very small and the steel is said to have a fine grain. The most common grade of stainless steel is 304 stainless, which is used in a wide variety of applications. This type of steel is typically used in applications where strength and toughness are important, such as in the manufacturing of food processing equipment, surgical instruments, and marine hardware. However, it is less expensive than other types of stainless steel and can be used in moderate environments. For example, 2205 is widely used in the oil and gas industry because of its high strength and resistance to chloride stress corrosion cracking. This type of steel is used in a variety of applications such as automotive parts, medical equipment, food processing equipment, and hydraulic systems. It is the most abundant metallic element in the Earth's crust, making up about 8% of the planet's mass. Copper is often used in electrical wiring due to its good conductivity, and it is also commonly used in plumbing due to its resistance to corrosion. It is also very ductile it can be drawn out into a thin wire without breaking and malleable it can be hammered into thin sheets without breaking. The most common grades of gold are 24 carat, 22 carat, 18 carat, 14 carat, and 10 carat. 
Tin is most commonly used in solder, as it has a low melting point and is non-toxic. Zinc can also be plated onto other metals to protect them from corrosion. After aluminum, most sought metal is copper. It has many different grades and types, each with unique properties that make it suitable for different applications. Copper is often used in electrical wiring due to its good conductivity, and it is also commonly used in plumbing due to its resistance to corrosion. Lead is a metal that is soft, heavy, and has a dull silver color. The properties of magnesium include high strength to weight ratio, good machinability, formability, weldability, and corrosion resistance. It is a lustrous, white metal with a low density and is second only to iron in terms of common metals found in Earth's crust. The properties of tungsten vary depending on the grade. Tungsten has a high melting point, 3422 degrees Celsius, making it ideal for use in filament based light bulbs and other applications that require high temperatures. These properties make it useful in a variety of applications, including coins, magnetic alloys, stainless steel, heat exchangers, special alloys for aerospace applications, prosthetic devices. Cobalt is a key component in the manufacture of jet engines as it can withstand high temperatures. Silica is converted into silicon metal by heating with carbon in an electric arc furnace, CO2 plus 2 CC plus 2 Co. Some of the key properties of phosphorus include its reactivity with oxygen, water, and acids, its low melting point, and its ability to form phosphates. Sulfur can also be used to make hydrogen sulfide, which can also be harmful to humans and the environment.